Hi, my name is Devin, and today I'm going to be going through the process of how to add in custom characters with animations into the crowd system of UDK. This, uh, this video will be using PSKs and PSAs. Uh, you can use FBX if you want to, that's fine, but this video will be using PSAs and PSKs. Uh, so when you start out, you're not going to see any of this. Um, you're, uh, to get this, the first thing you're going to need to import is the skeletal mesh. So click on import, find your skeletal mesh, which for me is nuggetanim3.psk. Click open, and you will get your skeletal mesh. You won't have any of this, just the skeletal mesh. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to create is the physics asset. To get that, right click on your skeletal mesh that you just imported, and find create new physics asset. Click on that, and you will get your physics asset. Double click on that, and you should see something similar to what I have here. Except you probably won't have a chicken nugget. You'll have a character or something. Um, now what this is, is a physics simulator. Click S to uh, simulate the physics. Uh, and what this is, is whenever you shoot the shoot and kill one of the creatures in the crowd, it will ragdoll and do that. Uh, as you can see, if you click this button, the collision boxes for the ragdoll physics are attached to the different bones um, in the mesh, so it's supposed to match up with their arms and legs and stuff. You can adjust these boxes and use W, E, and R to scale, rotate, and translate and uh, just adjust them until you're satisfied and then close out of here. That's all you need. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to create is this anim set. To create that, uh, uh, right click anywhere that is blank and say uh, new anim set. Click on that and double click on this. Now you might not have your uh, character in here, that's fine, you'll have some weird checkerboard item uh, to get what you want in here. Click on File, Import PSA, and um, you'll have, like for me, I had uh, two PSAs, one for idle and one for walk. Um, you're going to want to import them both, and when you do, you'll have your nugget with its animations. Here's a uh, idle animation, which he moves very slightly and the walk animation, which he dances a lot. So um, in your 3D package, uh, make sure that you name your animations, whatever, like idle and walk, so when you import the PSAs, they will come in as idle and walk. Uh, those names are going to be important, we're going to reference them later. Uh, we're going to reference them right now, actually. Uh, f with the next thing you're going to want to create is the anim tree. So again, right click anywhere that is blank, find new anim tree, click on that, and double click this. Uh, you won't have any of these items. Instead, you're just going to have this node, and you won't have a preview of your mesh yet. To get that preview in, uh, unroll this anim tree thing, scroll down until you see preview mesh list, click on the green plus sign and then unroll everything and where it says preview skeletal mesh uh, find your skeletal mesh in the content browser switch back to this and click the green arrow to add it in you will now see your mesh in here after that you're gonna wanna scroll down until you see preview anim set list click the green plus sign again uh, unroll everything, all this stuff. Uh, click the green plus sign for preview anim sets. Unroll that. Find your anim set in the content browser. Switch back to here and click the green arrow to set that in. Alright, now that all those are in, you can right click anywhere in this blank area and we're going to want to find a new animation node, blend by and we're looking for UT blend by idle right here. 
plug those two together. And uh, what this does is it tells UDK to play a certain animation when it's idle and a certain animation when it's moving. It will not blend between the two, it'll uh, change abruptly. Um, click on new, right click, say new animation sequence, anim node sequence. And uh, we're going to need two of those. Click on it, click Control w to copy it uh, until you get two. And now we're going to need to name these. Remember what you named uh, the two animations in here, idle and walk. We're going to need to type in those names in here again. So under anim seek name, type in idle and walk. Plug those in, idle to idle, moving to walk. And uh, before we cancel, we're going to need to do one more thing. Uh, you're going to make sure that playing and looping are both checked for both of these animations. If you don't do that, then when it plays in-game, it will only play the first frame. If you don't have playing checked, it will just have the first, the first frame uh, playing and nothing else. It won't continue. And if you don't have looping checked, it will not play the animation again after the first cycle of the animation is played. Um, Alright, so now that we have all these things, we're going to need to find these arch types. Uh, as far as I know, th there's I can't find out how to right click and find them, so what we're going to do is go to UDK game, type in example, and we're going to want to copy these two archetypes, the bishop crowd and example crowd list. Uh, to copy them, right click, say c create a copy, and type in your package name here, my nugget package. Um, and then create the name of the archetype node that you want. So I'm going to name mine Nugget Crowd. Click OK and it'll create a copy in your package. And then do the same thing for the archetype list, except call it a, a crowd list. So Nugget Crowd List. Click OK to copy that one over. And go back to your package. Uh, let's get rid of that and you should have your two archetypes there. Uh, they will still have the default UDK meshes and animations in them. We're going to want to change that. So double click on the archetype node. Oops, I already had it open. Uh, find skeletal mesh. You're going to want to point to that skeletal mesh with the green arrow. Find your anim tree template, which is your anim tree. Click the green arrow again. And your physics asset right here. Click on that. And then we don't don't worry about animations, leave that blank. The where where we add in the animations is down here at anim sets. Click the green plus sign, unroll that, and find your anim set in the content browser. Click the green arrow here. And then down here you're gonna want to scroll down some more and find where it says walk, run, and idle anim names. Uh, again, these are the same names that you referenced in here. For me, it's idle and walk. And uh, the crowd system, when they move, they actually run, so uh, click the green plus sign and type in the name of your moving animation, which for me was walk. Do the same thing for idle. Click the, whoops, click the green plus sign and then unroll everything and type in idle for your idle animations. Now we could close out of that and double click on your crowd list archetype and it's gonna want uh, you're gonna need to create a new list of agents slot find your archetype that you were just in click the green arrow to add it into the archetype list and we're all done. Next thing we're gonna need to do is 
add in places for the crowds to spawn in the level. So to do that, in your content browser, click Actor Classes, type in Crowd in the search bar, find Crowd Destination, Game Crowd Destination, drag that in, and we're going to need two of those. Um, and then also find Pylon. Pylon is a navigation node, so the so the crowd has some brains and knows how to move around. Um, Alright, so what we're going to make the crowd do is spawn from this node and move to that node. To do that, double click on the first node, click the lock button, so it locks this properties window. Click on this and say next destination, uh, click the green arrow, and so what that'll do is once they spawn here, they'll you'll see the line move to the next node. Um, all right, and then we're also going to want to create a trigger. Add actor. Add trigger. Uh, so that when we run over the trigger, it will spawn the crowd. Also, for now, we're gonna make it so that this trigger is not hidden in the game. Type in hidden in the search bar and uncheck these options. Okay, go to Kismet, right click, say new event using trigger touched, and then also right click new action crowd UT crowd spawner. When touched, we're gonna start the crowd spawner. And in here, the crowd agent list, we're going to want to find your agent list and click the green arrow so it knows what type of agents to spawn. Uh, next, click on this first spawn point in Kismet, right click on spawn points and say new object very var using game crowd destination. Um, and that's it. You can close out of that, build all, and then you can play test your level. And when we run over the trigger, it should spawn our crowd with animations and all. Bloop. There's the ragdoll physics. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Notice how they're kind of surfboarding towards me? That's not what I wanted. Um, so when you make your mesh and your animations before you export, uh, make sure that they are facing UDK's X direction. That's the front for UDK. For me in Blender, Blender's Y direction was the front. Uh, so yeah, just remember to take that into account when you're making your mesh. Uh, that's it. We are done.